Hi, and welcome to Yuma County Library's virtual program. For today's program, I want to focus on the origin story of Mexico's holiday, Dia de los Niños. I grew up hearing so many different reasons as to why we celebrate Dia de los Niños. My abuelas and everyone in my family still insist that I give my children candy and small toys on April 30th, which is the day to celebrate Dia de los Niños. It's time to figure out how this exciting holiday began. When I ask my relatives and friends about this holiday, I'm often told, because of the war, you know, World War I. So here is a little history refresher. World War I took place from 1914 through 1918. Society and men were fighting in two battlefields. The first, not officially part of World War I battles, but the fight against the Spanish flu, and of course, the other bloody skirmishes on the battlefield in Europe. This relates to how children, in that although they did not fight on the front lines, kids were very much involved in activities to support their home. Supporting the home front includes examples of farming, such as these British Girl Guides, a precursor to American Girl Scouts, tending to food allotment spaces. Children also raised money by donating from their own savings at donation drives at school as part of a war effort with monetary donations. Children also scavenged through scrapyards, and they worked in military factories. After World War I, children's labor rights were starting to be implemented in the workplace across the world. The newly found League of Nations called for the Geneva Conventions, where the Geneva Declaration of the Rights of the Child was formally adopted in 1924. Essentially, they said that no matter which side of the military battle wins or loses, children are always the most affected during a time of war. The League of Nations later dissolved, but when the United Nations was formed in 1945, they also formally adopted a similar declaration protecting the rights of children to be celebrated in November. Given the time period, how does this relate to Mexico? especially because Mexico did not even participate in Europe during World War I. Mexico did not participate because the country was undergoing its own civil war. Today we call this the Mexican Revolution. The fighting began in 1910 and lasted many years. Definitely not in the same capacity as Europeans' children, but Mexican children also participated in their country's revolution. This was in part because of the many women participating alongside the men in the war on both sides. Some women fought alongside their men as soldaderas. Other women traveled alongside the men as a means of supporting their war effort, as seen in these photos as more of logistical support. Because of the women's involvement, this made it so that children tagged along too. Sometimes kids were used as soldiers in the battles, facing their own mortality, or dying because of their life in refugee-like status or malnourishment while also trying to avoid the novel influenza with everyone else. Most scholars debate the official end of the Mexican Revolution, but in any event, post-revolution society in Mexico was making attempts at developing its own identity. This in turn circles back to the development of the League of Nations, as I mentioned earlier in this program. In the same vein as the Geneva Declaration of the Rights of the Child, then Mexican President Álvaro Obregón and his Secretary of Public Education José Vasconcelos Calderón made it a point to declare the necessity of looking after the wellness of children given all of the afflictions at that time, the Revolution, World War I, and the Spanish flu, and to protect those children for future generations. President Obregón accepted the Children's Rights Declaration as written by Minister Vasconcelos in Mexico to be celebrated on April 30th, 1925. From that point on, public school was available to children in all regions in Mexico and Dia de los Niños began to be celebrated every year. Kids still have to go to school, yet they enjoy many traditional treats such as pan dulce, flan, y arroz con leche, and of course other sweet treats and little toys. The United Nations still celebrates World Children's Day based on the 1959 Declaration, but they'll celebrate it in November. Like Mexico, other countries around the world celebrate their children on other days. But for this particular idea of a children's celebration, we can say that Mexico started the trend. Many thanks to the many organizations for allowing us to use their pictures for this program. 
If you want to find out more books, here are some to check out from our collection. There is Book Fiesta, Celebrate Children's Day, Celebramos el Día de los Niños by Pat Mora, Revolutionary Mexico, The Coming and Process of the Mexican Revolution, and the biography on President Álvaro Obregón's. You can also check that out as well. And as always, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.